to be aware throughout the draft phase of what the opponents are trying to do and then just layering it pretty consistently. And ahead. Yeah. Speaking about being ahead, Boss is uh, doing a great job here towards this top side as Ananasik is going to turn up, see what he can get done on his phase rush graves. It's going to be spotted pretty quickly as uh, Solo Ooh. now might be in trouble. There's the flash, but it's not going to get him far enough. And First Blood is so easily gifted over to the one minions in the lead. And he'll get back to lane with some uh, decent stuff here as well. Remember, no flashes here in this mid lane as No Man's chasing after Santorin here as Ananasik going to come in. That's a great uh, smoke oh! screen, but Power of Elias says goodbye to Orianna. And uh, that's going to be a kill back oh. here. You can see Santa's he switches to teleport because he needs to TP down back into bottom to try to maintain the freeze. Otherwise, Wild Turtle and Ignar, they would crash this wave and then pull it. Here we go. Yeah, boss. Gonna have to flash to get out of the way, and he is going to keep himself alive. Santa's is in here. And he's got the unsealed spell book. He'll be absolutely fine. Is now solo. Just gonna be taken out. Uh, didn't really want to be there. He was in between the wrong turrets. The ornaments are gonna be online by that time. No man's he might get completely yeah, in a lot of The quickness comes down. There's the grand entrance. Power of Evil says goodbye to the Orianna. The clockwork orb smith is taken off the rift. And FlyQuest will now back away, looking for even more. The Wild Turtle's coming over here. Yeah. Well, they just want to try and get as many kills as they can. As in goes Ignar, good knock up there, but the Devourer is in. Santos might have actually stepped a little bit too far forward, though, as then the on on gets a decent knock up there, but only onto Solo as Santos has made it completely Whoa! out, and Ananasik gets it with the collateral damage. Goodbye, Bear. And it is going to be FlyQuest taking down the Rift Herald, so there's at least that. They'll get some plate gold for it, but it only turns up to the mid lane, and FlyQuest know that it's about Power of Evil and getting him ahead. Yeah. They will funnel this gold into him. Syndra is the only champion that can save them in the later stages. The scariest thing, though, is that Orn can reliably reach her without FlyQuest being able to have a say about it. And so, so UOL just got a dragon, so right. the soul uh, win condition is uh, looking very well, good. Solo. Even though he's died twice, one of which in very unfortunate circumstances, the call is almost complete, so that's going to help offset things. And his CS has been doing... His CSing has been really good. He might die again, though. Yeah, the slice the dice does not have flash, as Ananasik oh. would have probably liked to have a collateral damage, but uh, after that minion wave, not going to have it available to him. The Santorin's going to turn up. Sky Strike just to try and do some minion damage, but Solo, he can't follow up to anything as uh, FlyQuest use, lose yet another one as... Oh no, uh, they predicted the charge! Oh, sorry, the left. Oh, it looks uh, like... I don't think he's going to be able to get it. Is... Uh, just, we didn't... No! no. Sorry, he wasn't able to grab it. And that's actually a pretty important defense by Unicorns of Love. That's a uh, denial. Be forced to reset... Oh no. Oh, no oh but not. MF? Yeah, okay. Let's see what Wild Turtle can get done. Collateral damage avoided completely. And it... Bullet time, okay. Well, you may as well press the button if you've got it available. But it is not required as Boss can have to try and get out of there. Skystrike coming on in. Santorin gets on around. I don't think they're going to be able to dive him, though. As now, even Ignar is here. Boss keeps moving. It might be an opportunity for Ignar to get through. There's the stun. Is Ignar going to be able to get the knockup? Do they have any damage? Is the question. It looks like they may. Oh. As the Ignite was ticking no. down, it's not going to be enough to flash forward. Ignar is also going to fall, though, as that's going to be the Electrocute Pro. I think picking up the kill onto Nomad. That's why you take the Keystone, ladies and gentlemen. As now Wild Turtle is going to take down this outer turret, and they're like, Solo, it's fine. We will win this game for <laughs> you. Wild yeah. Turtle's damage. Yep, also now going into the Essence Reaver, so it is going to be a crit build as the game goes on. There's now you are lying in wait. I believe that was Gadget and Ananasik there in that brush, as you can see now, as we toggle the vision back on again. No man's caught out of position once again. And uh, the Orianas here at Worlds have actually been doing very, very well. But uh, this is a 0-3, and we know that Orianna that doesn't get any gold at all is super duper oh, useless. No. As, uh, okay, uh, goodbye, Mr. Crocodile. Um, yeah, not sure what that one was about. 30 seconds now in the death realm. They gotta be careful with the Rift Herald. They don't want it to charge onto the inhibitor. Senna as well, things of that nature. Gonna be pretty good. FlyQuest, they're up right now just under 2,000 gold. 
but Unicorns of Love are the ones that are still in the lead, but Power of Evil has the chance uh, to change looking that. looking for the fight, there's the Devour already on cooldown, Santos is probably going to fall down, and he is, as Wild Turtle grabs that one. The Shockwave does basically no damage, is now No Man's forced to run away, Wild Turtle will get to work on the Inhibitor turret perhaps, as Solo oh, trying to fight Boss yet again, does get the Cull the Meek, you're down to 100 health, Mr. Crocodile, don't go back in, oh he's looking for him, but he just gets fire breathed on him, I have no idea why he decided to go back for that one. That was definitely very aggressive, and I appreciate that part of it, but otherwise not too much is now boss. Definitely going to be dead as Wild Turtle helps clear that one up. It's Power of Evil that somehow collects the kill. No idea how. The Fly Quest will get to work on this turret, so it doesn't matter. Solo seems to just be dying over and over again, but Fly Quest are grabbing the things that they need to put, them, put themselves in a position to win. Yeah. Now they're up 3,500 gold. Infernal Mask and get it. Edge of Night was completed for the Graves. Ah, uh, boss, very, very close to dying there as the bullet time careens forward. That's gonna be the inner turret taken down, but Igna doesn't get any of the knockups. It's the old defensively there from Centaurin, oh. who flashes out of the dawning. Oh no! All power of evil, he gets exhausted and shut down by Inanna Sick. And oh no, Solo, slowed down so early there, but flashes on forward, the Devourer denies the Renekton. And more fire no. being breathed forward, the flash on top of him by boss. That's why he chose this name. I guess, ladies and gentlemen. Extraordinary stuff from the top laner of UOL and uh, FlyQuest. Oh, so the Unleashed Power, not able to do enough. Renekton comes in. Santos is an absolute god, by the way. Just saving everyone at every turn. It's UOL team comp. Well, Centauron taking a bit of damage here. As uh, the Piercing Darkness. That's taking that to about half, but he will make it out of there. The Volley Bear not going to be dying just yet. As uh, Spellbinder comes in for, for No Man's I, uh, I think I started talking about this before, but I'm going to have to stop talking about it yet again as Power of Evil going to have to flash to get on out of the way. There's the Shockwave to pick up the Syndra. He just wants to throw down an ultimate, and uh, the Devourer is going to deny it entirely as Ignar dancing around. Sick as the Ornhorn comes down, not going to get the knockout. Oh, does find Santorin actually, as in goes Solo. Can he take down No oh. Man's? Remember, this Ariana is also very, very low, but he just gets kited. It's exactly late game Renekton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what he does. To throw out that call of the Forge God. Ignar taking the front line, does have Battle Dance, of course, so can be very slippery in these fights. It's FlyQuest. I think they've got one more chance to try and find a team fight that's actually going to work out for them. As uh, the vision is going to get oh, cleared man. here by UOL. Syndra needs to show up solo. You can see he's looking for the flank. Here yeah. we go. The Dominus has been popped. Oh, that's a great knockup there from Ignar as they get it towards the back line. The Tom Kench already taken down. Gadget destroyed. No, he is going to survive. Solo is taken out, but it is going to be Centaur on the locks down the dragon. They deny the soul and they win the fight in the end. It is not a teleport, Alice, as... <laughs> Thank you very much for pointing that out. I'm glad that we just didn't plonk him down yeah. in the middle of the Baron Pit just to try and make things a little bit more exciting. But uh, it's going to be this Red Bull Baron power play that's going to show us so much about whether or not FlyQuest can get themselves to try and take down this bevy of wards he does have available to him. And Anasik not able to actually grab any sort of kill onto Solar here towards the top side. And FlyQuest is going to use that in order to take down this inhibitor turret in the mid lane. It had regen itself quite a lot, but uh, not going to be regening anything now. But it is lying as rubble on the floor. And Solo going to Slow on. and steady. Advancement here by FlyQuest. They it, played this last section of time, though, extraordinarily well. Yes. All of the pressure continues mounting. We mentioned the Red Bull Baron power play. That number needs to get high. It is currently at about 3,000. They want to break open this space. Great double stun there from Power of Evil. And they will take down this inhibitor. UOL feels like they're sweating for almost the first time this game. Honestly. Yeah. This is probably it's like a lot of minions. As he's got an edge of night, actually turning that uh, serrated dirk into something very valuable here for the misfortune. It's going to be more difficult for Boss to be able to break through that one in time. Here we go. Push out the minion wave. Power of Evil. No shield anymore as Make It Rain comes down. And Anasik out of position. They pile on top of him. But the Devourer's there. Santos keeps him alive. Wild Turtle in there. And Boss just soaks the entire bullet time. 
the FlyQuest unable to actually grab themselves a pick. Some abilities on some pretty long cooldowns. Yeah. As Wild Turtle. Oh my god, look at oh, the stats. Gadget in so much trouble, but the snares come down. Santorin is able to oh. get in there, but the shutdown onto Wild Turtle. He wanted to take matters into his own hands. Power of Evil is still alive. It oh. goes solo as it is going to be Power of Evil grabbing the kill onto Gadget. Both teams without their marksmen. And Igna tries to get in, but the battle dance is going to be for naught as Power of Evil against the world. We thought it might be that, but he still had the ultimate. The spears are coming down. Boss is trying to get the hell out of there. This guy is the whole team. And they're running away from just the Syndra. I, I do not know exactly what's going on here right now. Oh, that was so close. This is pretty insane. He's going to swing around. Yep. He's almost in the trophy position, LS. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a great stun on DeSantos. Oh, I mean, I, no matter who wins this game, Chovy's MVP. <laughs> we knew that. We knew. <laughs> it's always how it is. Yep. Going to be a little bit more awkward in our next game if uh, Top Esports are able to take it. Is all oh, not going to be able to grab that stun. Uh -oh. Power of Evil, he's still in full health. Santorin's even getting some poke in there as boss throws oh, out man. the on horn. Not going to land it the first time. There's the shot wave. Power of Evil might be out of position, but the scatter of the week is so damn good. No man's got oh. himself the protect shield, though. The teleport is going to come through. It's solo to the rescue. But the double kill is going to still be there for no man's. He's the one trying to get himself some redemption oh. as well. And Santos Here will make Gadget. his way out, but it is going to be denied. It's two and four. But the first one for you. Well, let's see whether they can lock this one down as FlyQuest. We've got Teleports coming in a oh. Voyage to get Santos into position. And Igna, he's going to go golden. There's the Dawning Shadow to try oh, and deny the bullet time as the Baron is so incredibly low. Oh, the oh, snipe no. from No Man's! Santos is very low as well, and the Orianna has been taken out of this fight. Oh my god, the scan of the week. Santor secures the Baron! And Anasig is going to be taken off the board. And FlyQuest, they are so close to, to an ace. Only the bottom lane exists for UOL. And I think they did it! Atlas, I think power. I mean, this composition wasn't supposed to be able to do this as Santos is trying to round up these minions, but it does not matter. The last remaining Nexus Tower will fall down, and North America is still alive at Worlds. Power of Evil on the Syndra. We outlined it in the champ select. That was <laughs>